Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use cell validation to restrict data entry in cells to a limited range of values. To use cell validation, first select the cell or cell range upon which you wish to place data entry restrictions. Then select Data and Validation from the menu bar. That will launch the Data Validation dialog box. In this dialog box we have three tabs, Settings, Input Message, and Error Alert. You click the Settings tab to set the range of allowable values in the selected cell or cells. You use the Allow drop-down to select a restriction criteria. You can select whole number or decimal to restrict the cell entry to values within a specified limit. If you chose that option, then next you would use the Data drop-down to select a comparison criteria. You can then specify the value or values, if it's a ranged comparison, within which data entry values would be allowed. You may either type them into the boxes provided, or you can use the Collapse Expand dialog buttons to select cells from the spreadsheet. You could also select List from the Allow drop-down to restrict cell entry to a list of cell values in a spreadsheet. Next, you would click the Collapse dialog button at the right end of the Source text box to collapse the data validation dialog box down to a single line. You could then click and drag over the cells you want to use as the set of list values from which the user can select. The list you select must be on the same sheet as the cell to which you are applying the cell validation. Then you can click the Expand dialog bo button at the right end of the text box to expand the dialog box again. To the right of the Data Validation dialog box, you can check the In Cell drop-down to set the cell's data entry to be a drop-down list from which the user can select a value from the list you selected. If you actually wanted to type your list in, you may type it in using a comma-separated list. Those two can be set as the source for the drop-down. You could also select Date or Time from the drop-down at the top. In this case, you're going to restrict data entry in the selected cell or cell range to a range of possible dates or times. You would then use the Data drop-down to select a comparison and use the Start Date or Start Time to select a date or a time value between which you would like to restrict the range. You could also select Text Length from the Allow drop-down. That will restrict the length of text entries in cells. Once again, you use the Data drop-down to select a comparison operator, and then use the Minimum and or the Maximum text boxes to set the upper and lower limits of the text length for data entry. You can select Custom from the Allow drop-down to enter a logical formula in the formula box that must evaluate to a true or false value, and this indicates whether or not to allow data entry within that cell. So first you have to make the selection of what validation criteria you need. After selecting what data to allow on the Settings tab, Note that you can check or uncheck the Ignore Blank checkbox for most selections that you can make. To allow empty cells as valid data entry, you would check this box. To disallow blank cells as valid data entry, you can clear the checkbox. Note that if you have a reference to a range that has a blank cell in it for the allowed possible values of the cell, then checking the Ignore Blank checkbox will allow any cell value to be entered into the cell as valid data, defeating the whole purpose. Next, you can click the Input Message tab in the Data Validation dialog box. And here you can set an option message to display when the cell is selected for data entry. You have to check the Show Input Message when Cell is Selected checkbox in order to do this. Then you can type a title for the message box that will appear when the user selects this cell and type it into the title text box. Then you type the message you want the user to see into the input message text box. 
When the user clicks onto the cell in the spreadsheet, they'll see a cell comment appear next to the cell. They can then click and drag the message box to a different location in the spreadsheet if they find it to be in the way when they select the cell for data entry if needed. You can click the error alert tab to set how Excel will respond to invalid data entry in the cell. Make sure that the show error alert after invalid data is entered checkbox is checked in order to enable this feature. Then use the style drop down to set the icon that will appear in the error dialog box. You'll see the icon shown below the style drop down. Then type the title for the error message dialog box into the title text box. Click into the error message text box and type the actual error message you want to display. Once you have set all the settings for the data validation that you want to apply to the currently selected cells in the spreadsheet, click OK to apply the data validation. When you apply data validation on cells that have pre-existing values, the existing values will not be checked against the new cell validation rules. So you can have data that breaks the validation rules that you have applied. If you want to check and see if there are any cells with invalid data entries, you can click the Circle Invalid Data button on the Formula Auditing Toolbar to circle the invalid entries with a red circle in the spreadsheet. You can then edit the values of the circled cells. To remove red circles from the invalid data, you can click the Clear Validation Circles button in the Formula Auditing Toolbar to remove them. If you want to edit the restrictions placed on a cell through cell validation, select the cell you'd like to edit and choose Data and then Validation from the menu bar again. This launches the Data Validation dialog box again, where you can change the settings as desired. If you change one cell of several that share the exact same cell validation rules, you can check Apply these changes to all other cells that have the same cell validation rule applied in the Settings tab of that dialog box. Then when you make your changes, it will cascade that to all the other related validation cells within the spreadsheet. Just click OK to apply your changes after you've made them. To clear cell validation after applying it to a cell or cells in the worksheet, select the cell from which you would like to remove the cell validation. Choose Data and Validation from the menu bar and simply click the Clear All button in the lower left corner of this dialog box to remove all cell validation settings from the selected cell. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.